The thank you in Money Watch now gas prices haven't been this low after Labor Day in a decade. And that means just a bit more wiggle room in a lot of personal budgets. Aaron Breen joins us now from the newsroom with details on that delicate balance. Aaron, that extra bid is adding up locally though, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. And it's adding up in teeny tiny increments. At one place, uh, one at a time, they're noticing it especially is at the convenience stores where a little less of the pump can mean a few more purchases inside. When prices here are low, these lines do seem to grow. And you know what else picks up? Foot traffic. It's not happening everywhere, but according to a recent survey by the National Association of Convenience Stores, people are buying more, and more often, inside stores like this. In fact, those sales have increased by as much as 3% in the past three months. The Quick Mart on Mill Street always sees steady gas sales. We can see people are spending more money for any other things. You see the margin between what gas stations buy gas for and what they sell it for is both narrow and consistent. You pay more, but they make the same profit. And for a lot of folks, when you save just a little here, it's pretty easy to spend it here. Just a little less on each gallon outside adds up. Yeah, especially I have a, a gas sucking truck. <laughs> And what's left is going to everything from pastry to impulse snacks and sodas to cigarettes. I spend at the quick mart here. You're not the only one, Austin. Lots of times we'll come inside, look around if something looks good. Do you come in and spend money here? Yeah. <laughs> and what do you buy? Or Chocolate no? fix. Yeah, you Monsters. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Monster drinks. I go get the pizza. You're right. You spend less at the pump and then you can come in and spend some money in here. So while globally an oil glut is bad for OPEC and for the oil companies, it's helping the local economy incrementally every day. Covering Money Watch, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.